Hi, my name is Alwia Alkaf. This is Group 4, Evaluating the 2013 Chief Officer Executive Public Health Summary Report. This report emphasizes the importance of controlling public health regarding infectious disease. During the time of this report, the number of communicable diseases had escalated. The report confronts the issues that arose concerning infectious disease that include immunization and decreasing infection rates, healthcare associated infections, antimicrobial resistance, tuberculosis, food and waterborne infections, and sexually transmitted infections. The Lalonde Report of 1974 pioneered a new perspective for the health of Canadians. The most salient ideas from the report was that all factions must work together as a synergistic whole. These groups consist of healthcare organizations, environment, independent lifestyle behavior, and heredity. Also, the summary report of 2013 correlate infectious disease and determinants of health to the Lalonde report. This is Sheila Baker and I'm doing the Alma Alta Declaration. The Alma Alta Declaration was based on the recommendations of the Lalonde report. This declaration outlined an international commitment to to achieve health for all by the year 2000. The executive summary from 2013 agreed with the AML to de declaration by addressing communicable diseases in relation to the global prevention. However, it is interesting to note that this executive summary was produced 13 years after the original health for all by the year 2000 goal. Perhaps the inability to achieve this goal can be attributed to the lack of focus on the social determinants of health, similar to what occurs in this report. My name is Manette Corporal, and I'll be talking about the Jakarta Declaration. This does support the 2013 report on the state of public health in Canada. It does promote health by consolidating and expanding health partnerships, securing an infrastructure, social responsibilities, increasing investment, and increasing community capacity and empowering individuals. So by advocating health promotion and collaborating with governments, Infectious diseases can be further worked on in terms of avoiding and maintaining all overall health. This can be done through individually and through communities. Also, alliances were then made with the government, institutions, and communities to help further achieve health promotion. My name is Bennett Corporal and I'll be talking about the Ottawa Charter for Health Promotion. This does support the 2013 report on the state of public health in Canada. This further assists the need in implementing ways to lessen and prevent infectious diseases. Through this charter, created strategies and solutions were implemented to promote health, which included building healthy public policies, creating supportive environments, strengthening overall community action, developing personal skills, and rebuilding health services. This is Sheila Baker and I will be doing the UP report. The UP report was created as a follow-up to the Ottawa Charter and it included policy framework to reduce health inequities by addressing the social determinants of health. The 2013 Executive Summary did make reference to the importance of environmental issues in relation to infectious diseases, but it failed to address the social determinants of health. In fact, it can be argued that although infectious disease was a timely topic, 
perhaps educating the public on the impact of social determinants was a more pressing issue. There are several actions to implementing these strategies according to Bangkok Charter. Advocate infectious disease prevention and control. Advocacy means bringing forward practical solutions for individuals in the healthcare sectors. Invest in sustainable infection control actions to address the determinants. Use surveillance infrastructure and capacity to plan all types of infections and most importantly, report to WHO. Infection control is a global concern and the globalized world has provided increased opportunities for emergence and re-emergence of infectious disease. This is Madeline Sumter and I will be addressing the Canada Health Act, also known as the Act. The federal government of Canada acknowledges that preventative medicine is extremely important and motivates provincial and territorial governments to provide this to its citizens through cash transfers. Therefore, the federal government is not directly associated with creating preventative medicine strategies such as vaccination programs, however they help promote it through financial assistance. These transfers, however, are only provided to provinces that meet the five principles that are laid out in the Canada Health Act. These include public administration, they operate on a non-profit basis, comprehensiveness, all hospital and doctor visits are insured, universality, all Canadian citizens are covered, portability if you move to another province or are on vacation and need assistance, health assistance, it should be covered, and accessibility, you have reasonable access where you live.